demonstrate to you why you shouldn't you should never use one of these this here is called a phase tester screwdriver or an electrical test screwdriver um, some electricians may have them in their toolbox if you do I suggest you get rid of it or just use it as a screwdriver but certainly don't use it for the purpose that it's designed for basically what it's got in it is um, it's got a small resistor connected to an LED light and what it's supposed to be used for is to check whether the AC wire from like a plug socket or something like that is actually live and to do the test what you do is you put your finger on that little metal bit there and you touch the other end of the screwdriver onto the live AC line and the current travels through the screwdriver, through the resistor, through the LED and through you. You are the one that actually completes the circuit in this case. Okay, and as you can imagine, if you get any moisture or anything like that in this, then the current will just bypass the resistor and you'll probably end up, um, you could end up dead. And you definitely shouldn't use these for testing voltages higher than about 240 volts, which is what you get out your mains. Otherwise, your resistor won't protect you and you could end up uh, getting a very serious shock. Um, you could be very seriously injured or even killed. I'm going to demonstrate this um, in just a wee second. And to do that, I'm going to use a high voltage source. And I'm going to show you that you don't even need to touch the metal bit before a spark jumps from the top end of the screwdriver to the source of ground and what I'll do is I'll get onto that just now and I'll show you the results okay so what I've done here is I've put the screwdriver into the high voltage terminal of a car ignition coil which I'm driving with just an oscillating relay I've got a video on how to wire that up so I'm not going to talk through that again okay I've done that in another video if you want to go and check it out you can do it's on my channel so I've got the phase tester in the high voltage output there and what we're going to do is we're going to run it and I'm going to demonstrate what happens with this high voltage source when you bring it close to the screwdriver Ok as you can probably hear there's a bit of a buzzing noise and if you look closely here, I'll zoom in, you can actually see that the LED is actually lit up and that's without even a complete circuit. The voltage is that high in the output of that ignition coil that it's going through that um, LED and it's lighting it up. Now what happens is I'll pick up a wire which I've got grounded to a completely separate object okay and what I'll do is I'll show you what happens when the wire comes close to that screwdriver right, hang on a wee second trying to juggle holding the camera and do this at the same time it's a bit of a pain in the back side okay right here we are so I'm bringing a wire and as you can see the wire doesn't even need to touch it doesn't even need to touch the metal bit it's touching it now it doesn't even need to touch that metal bit of the screwdriver and it's basically completing the circuit and you're seeing a spark fly from the end of that screwdriver there to the grounded wire so I hope that you can see from that there see if I can actually get it a bit better just how dangerous one of these screwdrivers can be if you exceed the voltage 
Well, you see there, you don't even need to touch it. So, if I put my finger on that, I bet you can guess what will happen. By the way, I'm not going in. But there you can see, I'm not even touching it, and the spark is jumping over. So, my advice to you would be, if you have one of these screwdrivers, either get rid of it or just use it as a screwdriver, but certainly don't use it for testing the electronics. Like I say, even if you intend to use it um, for its normal usage of testing 240 volts, if you drop that in water or something next to a sink, say you've got a socket next to a sink, drop it in some water, take it out, don't think anything of it, you get any water in that, that resistor won't do its job and you could end up dead. Okie doke, thanks for watching.